smoking. My name is Dr. Tiffany Preet. I'm a member of the Blood Tribe of the Blackfoot Confederacy. I'm also an adjunct faculty member in the Department of Educational Policy Studies at the University of Alberta. And today I'm going to be talking about my published work called Walking the Paths of My Ancestors, which is comprised of three separate articles. The first article is called Ano et that the Bi, which in Blackfoot means where we live. It's a photo journal. While I was undertaking the data collection of my master's thesis, it was suggested to me to travel to different locations across Blackfoot territory. I share my photographic journey with you in this article. The second article is called My Family Remembered, an Oblate Research Project. The Oblates of Mary Immaculate were part of the Roman Catholic faith and were one of the religions to come to the Blood Reserve and start a mission school, which would later become an Indian residential school. There are two purposes to this research study. First was to find my ancestors in the records. Second was to provide new scholarly insights into the text, records, and materials of the Oblates of Mary Immaculate records. The findings revealed the hidden lived experiences of my ancestors. I also get asked a lot of questions about the genealogical work that I did in this research study. So I do share an overview of the methods that I used to uncover my ancestors in the records. I also share which of these methods were the most useful and which of these uh, methods were not that useful to me. I hope it'll be helpful to those of you who are interested in conducting your own genealogical research. The last article is called Bronze Hope. I published this colored necklace that I'm wearing so you can read about the materials that I use to create this necklace as well as the story and meaning behind the beadwork. I have provided a link to the article in the description. Please like and share this video. I would like to thank the Canadian Social Science and Research Council as well as the Canadian University Research Alliance who funded a project at the University of Alberta called Aboriginal Healing Through Culture and Language who funded my Oblate Research Project. I'd also like to thank the Margaret and Morris Heimble family who were participants in the Oblate Research Project. Thank you.